Thanks. I'm Stephen Human, and I am here in Kane County, right outside of Kanab. And this is an amazing place for all different types of adventures, whether you're on an ATV, horseback riding, hiking, whatever. But one thing that a lot of people forget is that Kane County has a rich Hollywood history of filmmaking. And there's a festival called the Western Legends Festival that I'm going to show you today that takes place in the next couple of weeks that you are going to want to come to. Lights, camera, action. Those three words have echoed across these hills and barren wastes tens of thousands of times over the past 90 years. Where some see just a rocky outcropping, others envision an alien world, a collection of rundown barns, an Old West hamlet. Such has always been the case in the land surrounding Kanab, Utah, a town that hugs the Arizona border on Highway 89. It earned the title Little Hollywood, with hundreds of films being shot here as early as the 1920s and as late as just a few months ago. To celebrate that fact, the Western Legends Roundup was organized, an event that welcomes the world to step back in time, into another reality, or just meet the legends of their youth. This was started 14 years ago to preserve um, our heritage here in the Western, in the Western lands of Kanab and, and our surrounding areas. We celebrate the cowboys, the Indians, the filmmakers. We celebrate the arts and crafts that made those people great. And we celebrate our film heritage here in our local town. In Kanab, we've had hundreds of Western movies made, and so we try to, to keep that culture alive. The lifestyle of the West is something that people have tried to capture all over the world. There's something about the freedom of an open horizon, a good horse, and a strong character to push you forward. While Hollywood attempted to show those qualities on celluloid, here at Western Legends, they are quite real. Cowboy poets spin their tales of days spent under the sun, stringing words together in the old art form that helped define what it meant to be a wrangler. Musicians sing songs old and new to inspire and remind of a heritage few people truly understand. Cowboy action shooters draw their weapons like it's high noon at the OK Corral, and stuntmen remind crowds that this is Little Hollywood, and that fact will never be forgotten. For many visitors to Western Legends, it's the movie stars that bring smiles to their faces and make them want to take the trip to this diverse destination. I came to uh, Western Le Legends last year for my honeymoon, and we got married in Vegas, and I planned my whole wedding around coming here because I'm a Western fan and I wanted to meet Clint Walker, but I came here and fell in love with all the movie stars, and they all treat you just like a friend. And we came out here to Kanab, and it's such a laid-back, beautiful town out here. We got to be friends with James Drury and Peter Brown and Ed Faulkner, and just having a wonderful, wonderful time out here. The draw of Kanab goes beyond just the films that brought notoriety to these epic lands. Adventure is the watchword of Kane County, and no matter what you're looking to do, there is a thrill waiting for you in the nearby bluffs. There's lots of adventures that you can If you're an ATV enthusiast, we've got trails for you. If you want to go to the national parks, you're less than an hour and a half away from Zion, Bryce, Lake Powell, and the Grand Canyon. We've got hiking trails, biking trails, anything you can imagine, you're all within an hour and a half. The scenery here is, for me, would be enough to draw me here just to go and see the different, the different scenery that's here. We actually took a boat ride on Lake Powell and you have to experience that. that, that is awesome. Kane County is filled with Western legends, from the oldest pioneer home to the newest Hollywood blockbuster. Between the shootouts, stunt shows, poetry competitions, craft features and movie stars, there's something for everyone at this amazing event. In the 21st century, our popular culture seems to throw out something new and different every other week. New music, new stars, new experiences. They come and go without much fanfare and have little effect on our lives. None of them become legends. That's the difference between our everyday and what you find here. You don't become a legend by being the newest and the most popular. You become a legend by standing the test of time. If you want to find real legends, now you know where to look. Come down and see all the Western things that are going on in town. It's fantastic. This is the funnest three days that you're going to have in about the southern part of Utah. There is so much to do, so much cram packed in three days that you're not going to have time to sit down.
anybody that enjoys Western legends or just, they have to come here and experience it firsthand. Nothing like it. The Western Legends Roundup is going on August 16th, 17th, and 18th, so mark your calendars. People come from all over the world and all over the country, and you need to be one of them. Bring your family, it's going to be great. From Kane County, Utah, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure.